Fan to you, lovely Newcastle fans. Now, this isn't the vlog. It's not going to be a long vlog because, as I said on my match preview, unfortunately, I am not down at Fulham. Seven o'clock kickoffs on a Saturday night. Dog sitters. If there's any dog sitters watching this who's available 24-7, let me know because mine was not available for this one. So I've come over to Newcastle to watch it. The uh, team news is out. I'll, well, I'll get on that in a second. But I am joined by the one, the only, the call dog. Hello. Hold on a second. You didn't go to Fulham for a reason. You can't blame the dog for this. No, there's dog and the fact it was going to cost us like £200 and, I, and I'd be get, I'd get back to 6 o'clock. That's not even a lovely little Fulham's breakfast in the steel, but that was me getting back at 6 o'clock in the morning for £200. But it was worth our first date, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, just had a, what's it called? <laughs> I would love to recommend it on this video, but I don't know if you know what it's called. Um, the, 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 the Asian place that's right next to the strawberry is, is absolutely yeah, class for food. But, tough, right, if you... If you're new around here, you guys fans, do us a favour, as you know what to do by now. Drop us a little like you like you do, what that subscribe. I know this isn't the vlog that anyone really wants to watch when I'm not in the game. It, it hurts me like a knife in the leg. But there is some team news, just as we're about to go and get in the pub and watch the game. Almiron is not in the team. So just before we get in, because it is close to kick-off, calling first and foremost, we have to read Beat between the lines, because he's not injured, he's not. He was training on photos three days ago. Almiron looks like he's away. What's your thoughts on that? <sighs> will he be missed? Um, yeah, of course he will, because the energy he brought to it. Um, he was hit and miss sometimes, but he wasn't really decent player. It's just a pity he couldn't finish with both feet. Mm -hmm. I think that's my only negative thing I see, because he was a great player for us. He really was. But, you know, great. Got to get rid. All right, a really, really good player. And if it comes to the fact that financially they've got to do this to bring other people in, then what else are we supposed to do? Because we are a building club, aren't we? Is he the one you would have got rid out of the trip you Wilson and Almiron links that have happened in the last week? Was he the one of the three you would have preferred to see go? Because some people said Wilson because of his injury record. You would have preferred to see him leave or... Yeah, no disrespect to Wilson. I think I like Wilson. Wilson's gone. Um, age, um, injuries and bring in somebody else and do I dare say Ivan Tony would have been a good shout come in for us but it's not going to happen it would, be nice. it would have been nice it but it's not going to happen as well I, we haven't got to read into too much of not buying players we've got to keep within the financial fair play rules mm -hmm. and we've been very clever about that and I do think they have been um, I think this way is the way we have Ooh, somebody's just been shot um, <laughs> we're in Beirut um, I, I think we've just got to make sure we get behind what the club, what the owners are doing for the club and not think just because you've got money you can go out and buy. You can't be the richest club in the world and spend money that you're not allowed to spend. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's exciting because, I, I, again, reading between the lines, if we do sell our Miron, which looks likely now, I think this means we're going to sign someone before the window closes. So hopefully that's for a decent fee. So Murphy is in. It's nice to see players actually... Imagine that, players back from injury. I know. Jacob Murphy is back. For me, um, last question before we go into pub corner. For me, as I said on my preview, this game is huge. It's huge. Two this one. is a massive game, and I'm, I'm very confident. How big is this game for you? Last, uh, last cup competition I, I, of the I, season. It is. It's, it's have a little bit of a nice cup run because really we should. Me personally, I don't think we should have went out. Of the, um, no, I don't think anyone cup. thinks we should. No, but this one, we've got to win this tonight. Not got to. We have to give it a damn good go. And yeah. I think you said something before. I said the rest. Was Man City game made us look good in, in the no, first half, especially. We've had such a rest now. We've got to come back and play yeah. like that again. I'm expecting us to be firing all cylinders. Hopefully, Murphy has a good game on his return. So let's get in the booze. A problem with the strawberry, unless it's absolutely chocolate block, as we have left it late. And let's get amongst the FA Cup fourth round. Hopefully, <laughs> we in that we in that little ball. Our number is in one one of them little balls and pulled out later in the weekend. Now we never. Whoa. You should have seen us gunning, passing the folks along the road, just as they were standing. All the lads and lasses there, all the smiling faces, gunning along the Scotswood Road to see the bleeding rain. Two hours later. Tell me, mommy, ma, I won't be home for tea. Yes, that's right, we've just left Shearer's Bar. And you, uh, Shearer's, Shearer's Bar? Bar? No, sorry, God, I haven't even been drinking. We haven't left Shearer's Bar, we've just left the strawberry. The strawberry, the strawberry. Um, we've left the strawberry with Newcastle in the fifth round of the cup. And I tell you what, that's all we were bothered about, Colin, wasn't it? I'd get through the next round, absolutely. Um, we both agreed and it wasn't a strong game. No. Um, no. I think, in fact, the only time we controlled that game totally was in the last 12 minutes. <laughs> Um, Dan Byrne, man of the match, um, sorry, but I thought it was Botman. But uh, the back four played that role in that um, 
absolutely but Fulham had a decent game and um, there's no doubt about it but they had nothing to finish with <laughs> um, definitely not we, we had two lucky chances and finished with them both <laughs> um, we just seemed slightly like lustered and passing tonight which yeah. which frustration but doesn't matter you're absolutely right uh, we've won 2 nil into the next round and that's what we need to be just need a bloody good um draw don't we yeah something yeah, yeah, yeah. at home I think yeah it was it was the I said on the match preview for me and it might be this might that might cause debate between some Newcastle fans for me this was the biggest game Left one of the biggest games left in our season, and maybe if you'd gone back a month ago, when we, if we were still in the Champions League now, if those Carabao Cup semi-finals had, had reached us like they should have after that quarter-final heartbreak, then the FA Cup maybe takes a side piece with with European football to look forward to. Even if we'd made the Europa League, we might have been looking a bit further. But we're not in any of them competitions, and this team with the players we have, I'm not saying we're in that category yet. We should still be playing for something come February and come March. And this FA Cup was the only opportunity. I do think we'll finish this Premier League strong, and I keep saying that, and I hope I'm not wrong on that. But it was all about getting through that next round. Now, as Collins just said, I didn't think the performance tonight was great. If you do, yes, it's important to get through. That's what's first and foremost the most important thing. But after a two-week break, no football since that blistering Man City game that was one of the most entertaining you'll see at St James's Park for, for a lot of years, I think. I was a little bit disappointed. I was playing against a Fulham team who, can I just say, did not go full strength tonight. Jimenez was on the bench. Paulina was on the bench. Their, their star midfielder. They they didn't prioritise this match looking at that team. Unless someone can correct me on injuries that maybe them players weren't that fit. I don't know. But I thought we were flat. First half, we came out really slow. Fulham had lots of the ball. Again, as, as, as Collins just said, they didn't create very much with that. Dubrov, Dubrovka's had a very quiet night apart from one really good save. Yeah, in the first half it was a good save. Yeah, it was a good save. But we were just quite passive. We never got a rhythm. And that last 15 minutes after we were 2-0 up, last 12, 15 minutes was the first time you could honestly say, like a team should do away from home, that we controlled the match. Pass, pass. Little circles, little triangles of football, comfortable. And had Fulham run out of steam at that point, yes, of course you could argue that. But first half wasn't great, and then Longstaff pops up with what was a really good finish. I cannot deny that was, wasn't it? It was a he flash shot. It very well. I mean, it was a deliberate handball, not. No, I um, know. It definitely was Touching ridiculous stores. the way they complained. But yeah, he did finish it well, to be fair. Um, yeah, that was that set us on our way just before half time, and then you get in, um, and you just you just want to take a breath, come out in the second half, and see whether you can put your just stamp on the game a little bit more and slow the game down and really quiet down the home side. And we didn't do that first five minutes of that second half. Fulham, all of the ball, we struggled to get out of our half. But again, they were struggling to create anything. But my biggest concern from tonight is probably how easy, again, that we've been to play between midfield and defence. We really have. That's where Fulham have had a lot of joy. We know we need a central defensive midfielder. I don't know whether that's Eddie Howe's priority in this window. If we led to believe that Almiron wasn't in the squad tonight because he's on the way out, that would assume to me, as I mentioned at the start of this video, that we might be signing someone. But is he prioritising a winger? Is he prioritising a striker? Is he prior? I don't know. It, it's going to be a guessing game on what we need and what we might bring in oh, in the rest of the transfer window. No, there isn't. It's going to be a, maybe potentially a mad week. But we just we were a little bit too passive in those areas, and Fulham were exploiting that. And I was I was glad to see Wilson. I said in my match preview that Wilson for them was going to be a danger against Dan Byrne. And he went off injured, and that was a bit of a blessing in disguise for us. But second half, we were a little bit better. Um, now let's move on to player performances tonight from me. Now, I'll start with the negatives first, get those out of the way. Um, Dan Byrne, I don't really know how ITV have given him man of the match, in my opinion. I thought he improved in the second half, but we would both agree that in the first half, he was pretty sloppy in areas, wasn't he? Yes, yeah, so there's no doubt about it. And especially the first half, he did play a lot better in the second yeah, he did. half of the, the second half. But for me, Bottman, Bottman was a tower of yeah, strength again. Was, we, we looked at each other a bit baffled in the bar that, that Lee Dixon had pulled out. Yes, he scored. Great to see him score. Do you know I think why? He had two or three really good tackles, which you could see there could have been chances for goals for them. Yeah. But overall, I don't get me wrong, this is not the Dan Burns dislike show. Yeah. This is the fact no, that... of course not. No, absolutely not. Because, you know, um, he's a great... We really enjoy him being there. But 
wasn't man of the match the end. I no, bet no, no. he would admit that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. Um, I thought Bruno tonight, for as good as he is, when Bruno is firing, Newcastle are firing. Tonight, trying passes that weren't coming off, a little bit slow with the ball in here, he's a little bit sloppy with the ball, and he didn't have his best night, and he was someone tonight who I singled out with Gordon and Isaac, might have come out after a two-week break, absolutely flinging balls left, right and centre and on his game, and he was a little bit bleh, bleh. Do you know what, do you know, sorry, do you know what I really missed today for me or tonight, was there was no crossing the ball from one side to the other. Yeah, was there, was there was no switching. slow with the ball in terms yeah, of transitions. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? I thought Isaac. You know, we didn't see much of Isaac. He was a little bit isolated. He, he was good. With, you know, we know what Isaac's capable of. Anthony Gordon. I might have liked to have seen a bit more of him. He got more of the ball in the second half as Fulham sort of opened up a little bit. Um, a, a couple of three times, I think he tried to do them like back heels that didn't come yeah, off. Yeah. That wasn't a game to do that. Cause no, it wasn't. this is the game. You know. This is the game that we need to try and push onto, which yeah. we have done and won to try and have a decent cup run, which, you know, we could get a great draw, yeah. couldn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll finish on that one. Um, positive players for me tonight. I thought defensively, our, our centre backs were called upon a lot tonight because of those gaps between the lines that were quite worrying. I thought Botman and Cher together were pretty solid, called upon when needed. Trippier didn't really put too much of a foot wrong tonight. I think all of them mistakes are behind him now. Um, I thought Jacob Murphy can we just talk about yes I'm not going to compare him and Almiron and turn it into the Almiron slag and show because we mentioned him at the start if he is to leave but Murphy just offers us something a little bit different and he did tonight and his shot when he was offside when he scored was exactly what he can offer when he comes in a little bit narrower and just to have a right foot on the right hand side with a bit of pace who likes a shot can mean it just goes a long way it does so those were some of my standouts. Miley, we know what Miley's capable of. My God, that boy does not look the age he is. Livermento, when he came on, played, I thought he played quite well. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Livermento looked bright. And yeah, that's now us in the fifth round. I think there's so much to work on going into Aston Villa, which is one of the hardest away games in the season. Genuinely one of the hardest away games that we'll have. And it's going to be so tough for us to go down there on Tuesday and get a result because our squad is still bare thin. We need to be harder to play against away from home. Fulham weren't at the races tonight, but if we were playing better opposition with the amount of the ball they had, that might have been a very, very different score. Little bit disappointed how flat we were, I'll be totally honest. It was not the best spectacle, but we are in the fifth round. And as Collins just said, if we get a good draw, like... No disrespect to some of the teams that I think have won today. I haven't checked all the scores, but like a, a Luton Town at home or just someone where Newcastle are the favourites when we can get a packed out St James's Park. Not an away game. And then we are one match away. There's two football matches between us and going back to Wembley and drinking cans in Trafalgar Square. Let's book our hotel rooms. Yeah, I'm not going to quite look at hotels, but I might just, I might just see on booking.com what's available. Might just see what's available. Uh, Colin's absolutely desperate I'm for a desperate wee wee. For a He's desperate for a wee. Newcastle United are in the fifth round. I'll do a video in a lot more analysis. Sorry, Ed, this isn't a match vlog. I'm good that I wasn't down there. CF travels to any Newcastle fan who's going to be getting back oh. at six o'clock in the morning. I don't envy you on that bus journey back. I don't. But I will be going down to Villa on Tuesday. More videos to come. Tell your Mars Newcastle fans that you might this season, you might not be home for tea. Eddie Howes Mags are in the fifth round. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Are we the lads? Yeah.